What's up guys, Nick here from Accessory Partners and we're here at Total Auto Pros going over the Cognito Motorsports 4-inch lift kit. We're gonna be putting that on a 2020 GMC Denali. We're gonna go over what this kit is, why you want it, and how you're gonna install it. This comes with the Fox IFP 2.0 shocks and the Cognito traction bar kit. And we're gonna go over why you want this on your truck. All right, so the unique thing about this kit when you order is it comes with a pitman and idler arm setup. As you can see here, it's beautifully wrapped and packaged. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna eliminate unwanted movement from the center link. It's gonna give you a better response uh, from a steering standpoint. So as you can see here, it comes with all the hardware, everything that you need. And you can see that it's beautifully powder coated. And it's one of the easier things to install in this kit. It should take you about an hour, but it comes with absolutely everything you need here. And it's just one of the add-ons that Cognito offers in their lift kit. Earlier I was talking about some of the key upgrades with this kit and one of those upgrades is your uh, your shocks. Now you can do a reservoir, you can do a non-reservoir, it's just one of the cool things that Cognito offers in this kit. Now in this particular setup you've got, we're doing the remote reservoir and what that is is it's a housing uh, for a dividing piston that's going to separate the oil in the shock and pressurized gas which is always pretty much uh, nitrogen but it's just a great upgrade if you're looking to better your drivability in this truck. So speed bumps, bumps, if you are gonna go off-roading or any kind of terrain, this will absorb everything and truly, really give you the most comfortable ride probably on a four inch lift kit. But Cognito offers it as an upgrade and it's, it's, it's worth looking into. All right, so what we got going on here is we're gonna mount and balance the wheels and tires that we're putting on this vehicle. These tires that you see right here are 37 by 12 and a half R20 LT. Pretty gnarly, but we're also gonna be putting on a moto metal 20 by 10 wheel with an offset of eight millimeters and a hub dimension of 124.2 millimeters this is a pretty big combo that we're putting on this vehicle but we're pretty confident we're going to get it to fit but this is the process and how we get that mounted and balanced so now that we have the front suspension off we are now ready to install the four inch components from the cognito kit which will consist of the control arms which will come with your sm series ball joints the control arm bushings, spindle, front cross member, and then you're gonna have your traction bar, which we'll save for last. So the next step here before putting in the cross members, you have to remove the differential. And you have to do a little bit of trimming before we put in the new differential along with the new brackets that come with the kit. All right, so for those that are gonna tackle this on their own, this install, it's imperative that you read the instructions and follow it step by step. So before we put in the new diff brackets that come with this kit, you're gonna to have to cut it at a 90 degree inch on both sides before putting in the new diff brackets. This is so we can create clearance when we put the diff back on. So again, read the instructions, follow it step by step so you don't miss this part. So something worth noting here, when you're putting the torsion bar back in, you're gonna to have to cut two inches right in this area to create clearance to put it back in for the keys. All right, so we're still finishing up, putting the front suspension back up. So we had to trim some stuff, put in some new brackets, get everything fitting properly. All right, so now that we have the front all buttoned up, let's kind of go over what we've done. We've installed the control arm, we've installed the spindle, the idler and pitman arms, reassembled the brake assembly, and incorporated the Fox shocks with remote reservoir. Now, when you get these shocks, it's going to come with a bracket that'll mount the reservoir to the body of the shock. Now, what we're doing here is we have an outside bracket that is connecting that same bracket that comes with the shock that will then mount this at a vertical angle, so it's more exposed to each zone. Everyone can do it differently, but that's the route we went. Another thing to keep in mind with this kit is depending on your wheel and tire size, you should anticipate trimming of some sort. Bigger the tire, bigger the wheel, more to do. But every application is a little bit different. But all in all, this kit will look good and it'll drive good. Next, we're gonna be moving to the rear where we're gonna install the lift blocks and the U-bolts. From there, we're gonna install this upgraded traction bar, which comes with frame mounting brackets and axle mounting brackets, and we'll go over that a little bit later. Um, but this is going to free up suspension travel. It's gonna limit axle wrapping. So it's kind of a key thing that you want when you're doing a lift suspension kit. Uh, so it makes sense as to why the customer upgraded to this, but we'll go over 
how to have that properly installed here in a little bit. So installing the traction bar, one of the things that you have to install is the frame mount. In order to do so, you have to take the bolt that is housing the leaf spring, take it out, place this in, put it back in so that bolt is housing both the leaf spring and the frame mount. From there, what you're gonna do is that's gonna fold up there and there are pre-drilled holes in the frame mount that you're gonna drill into, into the frame to house it. So this is step one of what we're working on now. He's got that going on on the passenger side. All right, so once you have the frame bracket installed, shackle assemblies, which when you're doing this, the bushings obviously are already gonna be in there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these right here and that's actually going to hold the traction bar. From there, the axle brackets that you already have installed is gonna hold the back end of the traction bar. Let's get this set up. All right, well, that's a wrap for us here at Total Auto Pros. We are done installing the four inch lift kit from Cognito Motorsports. Time to get her on the road. All right, guys, we just got the truck back from Total Auto Pros. Test driving it just to see how everything rides. And I gotta tell you, this is as smooth as it can get. This is, we're all looking for that factory smooth ride and this is it. I really didn't know what to expect when it was all said and done, but this is, it's not stiff, it's not too bouncy. I mean, this is perfect. This is the closest feel to factory that I think we can get. So this is better than I anticipated. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. Quick recap on this, on the four inch Premier Cognito lift kit. The whole premise behind this was to clear the 37s, which we did. A few things worth noting, we added traction bars to this kit for the looks. And we also put a one inch bumper spacer for clearance. We did a little bit of trimming, which is to be expected when you're doing a four inch kit or more, especially when you're doing 37s. But this particular kit will come with upper control arms, lift spindles, front and rear Fox shocks. You have the option to put remote resis on there or you can get the non 2.0s. Um, and hardware, U-bolts, the whole nine is a true lift kit. Uh, but it can be done. A four inch lift kit to clear 37s is possible and it won't compromise your ride quality. So if you're looking to add this kit to your 2500, your 3500, Cognito has you covered. Click the link below to check out what we have online or give us a call at 866-409-8673. Thanks for watching guys.